Hey, hi everyone. So today, uh, uh, I will share a few new things to you. And after that, I will go to the uh, Q and A session and uh, the problem solving uh, session. So first, uh, <coughs> I am sharing my screen. Let me know if you can see my screen. Yes, Preto. Is it visible? OK. So first of all, uh, so today we'll uh, take first the uh, hash class function. So what is hash class function? So uh, in a div, if you uh, want to select that uh, parent one or anything that has uh, that selector has inside that div div so you can select that with the help of as function so how we uh, create that has function so for that uh, it, so i have created a container uh, with uh, text here okay so let me put some more text So I have created a uh, multiple container. OK. So inside that uh, div, if I create another paragraph, so it, it has two. It has smaller one. Let's take this part. OK. And it's select. So here are three container you can see container 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 inside that uh, i have added this p class select so let add a class here as well get your name content okay so enter it so as you can see here is three uh container with text okay now uh, i need uh, something which has uh, this select only so if we want to apply css or apply style to this select we can write very easily the container uh, dot c l e c t select select and add the property uh onto it Hold okay or font size. Let's see twenty bits. So uh, the select class is applied to the select variable. So select is here. I applied CSS to select, but I want uh, that select class. I want to apply some uh, CSS or style to this container. I can't apply different class here. So if I add an extra class, uh, as I as I write, if I write this thing, select content to the container, I can apply the css to the container very easily but in a situation i where i can't write this way so how can we add this container style with help of this select so to this see mm, so i have added the style to the select now inside that container i write this way i am writing in sas so we can apply this in css too percent has okay. so what selector i have i have the selector select right select class so where is select class that p so if i write this way p dot 
so the class name okay and write order for x solid let me collect some color at now refresh the page okay so i selected the inside thing inside selector and adding the uh, adding the styles to the parent one so with help of the help with the has, has function so i can add anything on that okay so it is very interesting uh, function with help of this you can select that uh, parent one and apply the css so if you have multiple if you have multiple thing so you, you can add like this with the next one p right or the plus one i show you the plus thing no? plus p so now if suppose you have this one and this one mm, and see now what i done here so earlier i have uh, added the css uh, added change that which have the select on p right so that is applied on the p but now i change a little bit so which has p select plus p plus p means it has uh, that child element and that next element so which uh, div has select p and another p next to it that on that div on that parent container it will apply this these changes now it will apply this because it has select p plus p so this uh, with uh, with help of this kind of complicated uh, relation you can build uh, with the has with has function you can select that you can apply that has functionality on the evil ally very easily which has the uh, particular active class then apply that uh, style on that the parent li so this kind of relation on the tab function especially on the tab functionality you have where you creating the evil li okay and inside that you have created li then you have function function okay then uh, inside that a you have some active so whenever whenever uh, by logic you have will add active on that uh, on click on that anchor link particularly on that anchor link you will add that active class on that anchor and on, when that anchor is available on that anchor uh, when active class is available on the anchor tag you will apply the css to the parent ali so with help of this uh, has class function has uh, has function or has uh, as css function you can apply the various kind of uh, css to that through their parent element it is very interesting thing uh, apply on your regular uh, work it will help it will solve a, a a lot of problem so is has thing is clear to everyone that has function how we are applying uh, CSS or SAS to the parent element which has has child element is any question from has no Kitam. I just have one only question that you, is it possible to change shadow DOM element through the has shadow yeah you can change everything okay you can change you can apply any css 
to their parent. The, the shadow down is uh, a CSS property. You can change any property okay. with Elopez. Okay, so this was has thing. Uh, now let's do column. Okay, so the next thing is CSS uh, column. So CSS column. What is CSS column? So if you uh, check, wait a minute. If you check the newspaper thing, no? uh, when the newspaper uh, uh, web newspaper commits, uh, that whole uh, article will comes in the multiple column. And that thing, uh, that type of effect or that type of structure, we can create with help of a CSS column. Uh, it it specially uh, uh, required for the any uh, article or any journal kind of uh, applications uh, where we write up a long thing and we break that in multiple column to read is read easily like just like that uh, the, the physical paper structure so when the newspaper is come that news are comes into multiple columns we read those columns okay so those those that kind of structure that kind of thing we can create with help of uh, css column it is also uh, it is also a good um, uh, property of css so how we uh, create column on that okay so uh, for that now it, it the whole thing is comes uh, let's add some more um, So I just uh, make it a bit in the okay. so I add a long text on the page and now uh, just change that okay. on the container itself I'm adding a class and change it to column so on container I am adding a dot column column layout class okay so i am adding container and along with that i am adding column can count okay so i am let's here is the container i am adding the column layout thing so you can add uh, inside that div. You can add and uh, different uh, additional one more div, and you can create that uh, column layout there also as well. Okay. So now, now I add the column count property. So how the column count property works? So you can uh, you can define the number of column with help of the column count property. So just uh, I'm adding the three here. Okay. Now see. Uh, the whole thing is divided into three columns. The whole write up is now in three columns. Here, I did not add any div, anything, any span, in nothing here. Just a text, just a long text. And I break it into three equal columns. It will automatically fit it on the web page, on the applications. It divided three columns and set up their text up no 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 structure is additional structure is there nothing is nothing is required okay so that is the column count so if i increase that to five even okay so column will be now five The column is now five. So let's. Uh, so this is the uh, the column count property. Now the column uh, gap. So column gap. So you can add that. You can change the column gap 
uh, as you wish. So let's uh, decrease it to three and thirty pixel. So see now the the gap has increases to thirty pixel. So now change a bit to forty now, and I'm adding a. So column uh, column gap property will uh, add the gap between the columns and column. What is column rule? Now I need uh, to uh, ruler in between the column. If I uh, require that kind of thing, so you can add that thing as well with help of column rule property. Okay, I just allow add a column rule two pixel solid and that uh, added the class added the color on that. Mm, you can add that it will look it will work like this so it is properly distinguished and uh, separate with the ruler line right now so you can add that too okay and so okay uh, that is column rule column we can you you, you can add so count is working for gap you can add you can add uh, that thing and uh, inside that column container i have h2 and a p tag right if i add multiple p p So P is uh, working as well. Uh, I have added that multiple uh, breaks on the column. That is working fine. But uh, this heading is coming inside that column. So I want this heading outside of the column. So you can do both way. Just keep, uh, just put it inside that. Uh, just put this inside that div. You can you can create that. But if uh, think uh, this whole the content is coming throughout uh, backend we have only a div and from the database we just all the text with all tags are coming uh, uh, as a content as a html content inside that uh, div so how we can do that so we can you, you can we can do that as uh, Not this one. <laughs> Not this one. So I have selected the the element wherever I want to 
make that thing change that thing and on that uh, on that uh, element i change that column span uh, to all that's mean for that element the, the those that uh, column structure will uh, not applied and it will that element will throughout uh, in the uh, column okay now check so if this h2 is comes uh, come out of that column structure and it will look like this but even if you in if you check that inspect that entire thing i have applied the css only on the column layout and respective tags okay. so with help of this thing uh, you can apply uh, uh, that column structure you can create this kind of thing okay so uh, this is the CSS column layout. Uh, it has a more, uh, more and more property. So go through on the Google. It has uh, many more property on the every on every uh, everything. You, you will get uh, more and more uh, property. So the more you practice, that more you will learn. Now I just show you a few properties on uh, CSS here. So which are required very much required in our uh, application building so column uh, so column is done uh, so now let's go to the next thing quickly uh, the grid one okay so what is grid one uh, grid is uh, just like uh, when we uh, just like bootstrap we use that uh, grid structure no? bootstrap at 12 grid with help of that 12 grid uh, we can uh, make the structure uh, very easily so that kind of thing we uh, we can create uh, in uh, html2 so uh, it's in css2 okay so how we can create that uh, in css grid so i have created a uh, one let me make it i did uh, two three four five six seven eight okay so eight divs uh different different divs are here okay so now uh let's add a grid style again uh i'm creating another style with So I am created a class named uh, grid layout. It is uh, adjoint with the container. So with ampersand sign. That means it is uh, it is uh, on the HTML. It will uh, comes along with the grid layout. So grid layout I have added here and inside that is the grid. So I have added this to it. So with git template column, okay. So with this property, we are making each of the column uh, with auto auto 
set that auto okay so if we put a uh, three auto then in line uh, in one row there will be three column in each row and that all the uh, width of that uh, the width of that uh, column will be auto if i add a uh, auto to fourth auto then on each line four column will be there okay so one two three four five six seven eight now it has uh eight so i if i change it to yeah if you remove two one and then two column will come in each row and that will be there will be four row so with grid template column we can set that number of column in each row so now uh we'll just make it four so for better understanding so just uh just link with it uh with uh bootstrap in bootstrap we have uh, we, if we add uh that uh call four then it will come to the uh four uh, 12 divided by four equal to three that three columns come three column uh, structure will be followed if i put a uh, call six then it will follow that two column structure the layout will be in two column if i add uh instead of uh four i if i uh, write call three it will come on the four column if, uh, 12 divided by three equal to four so that call the structure will be on will be on four column so that kind of thing So grid uh, template column auto uh, four. So now I need to uh, add gutter space on each layer in each between each column. So whatever uh, on the gap column gap, I can mention. I can use that in the in the CSS as well. That gap on that uh, sorry in the layer grid layout gap. So thirty. Just make some uh, background color. Now Great layout. So then, uh, whatever comes inside the leaf, let's put that color and border. So what I am did here, so I have added in all div inside which comes under the inside uh, grid layout, I have added the background color and water, okay. So see. let's add some more thing. So adding 20 pixel. Now it has, uh, you can understand uh, the gaps of between the uh, column, right? The grid, the between the layout, the fort. I have added a, a gap of 30 pixel. Let's make it 50. So the gap will increase now 50, 50 here and 50 on the bottom. 50 means 25 five from the each. So this to this are 25, this to this are 25. If I now select that uh, outer one, okay, let's select the outer one. 
this is the container layout see that it, it is clearly visible that 50 pixel gap the all padding margin are clearly visible here the gaps are in purple or blue the padding are in green and the margin are in orange so gap so if if i if i uh, want to change the gap on top or bottom can i do that yes we can we can do it very easily so let's uh, reduce the gap on the uh, make it 30 on the left and right and add 60px gap on the bottom so 30 pixel gaps are added on the bottom and 60 pixel gaps are added on the on the left and right okay in between so 30 is added on the bottom the first one is value for the top and bottom and the next one is added on the uh, in between the uh, horizontally in between the columns okay and so grid column template okay so now you can take this uh, if you uh, just write grid and controls uh, space you will get the uh, just like javascript and all other language you can will the help will open and you can uh, check that all the uh, property of that related to grid it has all many more property so so grid column end uh give grid column end uh, i write span three okay so how it works so grid column ends so that means that that column okay so that i need to add that property of the child element so i have to select that I can create with the first one. Let's make it really complicated. So I choose the grid layout, then the div, then uh, the child element. Okay. So nth child. I'm trying to use as much as uh, the properties and the selectors to the, give you better understanding i can you can use the class as well individual class that will uh, that will that way you can do also so for your better uh, understanding of the brain child relation i am always using that uh, relation thing okay so first one so i put the in child the absolute value without the in if i add in if you remember that that in means that every time it will add on that first one and every row or to say in third early third child so if i am selecting the first one if you, you can use that in its child the colon first child in its child first you can use both in its child first so on in its child first and three okay see so i applied the styles on the first one okay i'll applied the style on the first one what style i applied that it will end on three span three okay so for one two three so it is as it is a four column layout so that span will end on that uh, item one will end on span three it has four span one two three four right it will end on span three so now uh, make a tweak on that so if i add grid column start s p a n 
then two. So how it works? Same way. So it will start. So now. So now it's to the actually it starts on the second one and end on the third one. So it's look like this. If you if I remove this one, The same way the row will work. Okay. So now I start, uh, I write grid row start with span two. So this one, first child, will combine that two one, the first and second row, and make it in as a single cell. Okay. So now make it a three. So three. Okay. So it will it will uh, occupy the whole space on the three row. Others uh, others the others uh, spans are flow as it is. So this way you can create the structure without uh, help of any media query, without help of anything, uh, with only pure CSS or SAS. You can create uh, this kind of structure and make it responsive. Okay, so it has more property. I on uh, your own. I just added the. Uh, I just add the um, the absolute one. You can use as we have. We have variables now, color variables. You can use them as well. So, so I just use the absolute one uh, to show you uh, the stuff. So instead of instead of uh, instead of this color or wherever I use the font size here, so you you can insert uh, use that uh, mixing. font size 20 don't need to add any XLR anything else because we have mixings on the font size where that is that is this so the font size the size value divided by 16 plus RDM when you check on that on the where it is it is on the Read one, right? So let's call them. Not this one, S class one. Okay, this one. Hmm. that select class is 1.25 RDM. I have never, I have not mentioned that uh, RDM on the uh, on the uh, CSS, but it will convert that in RDM. It will help. <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> it will help to maintain that uh, uh, root font ratio every time. If I change that root font size, it will change automatically. So I already showed you show these things in earlier classes, earlier sessions. Okay. So these things are uh, are uh, interesting thing on CSS and SAS. So whatever we have uh, learned from for last uh, few days, last 10 days. So any question from anything on CSS or uh, SAS? 
or any issue you uh, face uh, to change anything on spaces. All questions are welcome. Hello, Pritam. Yeah, please. Yeah, just I want to know uh, about the list, LESS. Hello? Yeah, sure. So LACE is, uh, LACE is similar to the SAS, okay? So only the uh, write-up of the uh, syntax are a bit different, okay? So if you go to the LACE one, okay? So earlier, LACE was very popular, but uh, now uh, when uh, uh, we are, uh, the SAS is uh, more, uh, that means, uh, more easy to handle, okay? That's why the SAS is now using uh in every applications in uh, lelem as well in every others uh, organization in uh, in worldwide sas are using so les are similar that the uh that uh, uh the way the concept are similar the parent and relations that uh nesting uh, that variable and the uh, uh, functions those uh, those things are more or less similar the syntax are different just like javascript so javascript and all other language that uh, uh, oops concept concept are similar but the way you re write on the react or with the way you write on the angular those are different so that's kind of thing okay so this is the uh, uh, site for the less css so go through them it will uh, if you if you know the css thing if you basically and if you understand the if you understand the relationship between the element so how we are establishing relationship uh, between uh, element with plus with arrow uh, arrow function with plus icon or oh, sorry with plus operator or with app percent so whatever relation we are creating on uh, the CSS thing, the same way we can apply on the SAS as well. Just the the write up or the the uh, way of writing are different. Other than that, everything is same. The concept is same on SAS, CSS, base, all place. So you have to know the proper property, or where to use, how to use. Uh, that is the main thing. So absolute has uh, when we uh, we we need to uh, make it a negative absolute value. So few few uh, styles have absolute negative value, right? We can put the negative value on the margin. We can put the negative value on the gain index. We can put negative value on the uh, positions, the top, left, right. Uh, so those things we can you can put uh, uh, negative values on the text indent. If you know the text in what is the what is the use of text indent, then you can use. Uh, so if you don't know the use of text indent, so you can't use. So text indent property is in adding the indentation to the text. So if you have something, you need space uh, before that text. So just add text indent property and add the value of that uh, on that. So uh, uh, 10, uh, 100 or 200 pixels. So that will create that, uh, that text indentation of that uh, line. Okay. So without using a padding. So if you add that padding to the particular particular uh, paragraph, that padding will apply throughout the that uh, paragraph. But if you add the text indentation of that uh, on that paragraph, so that will add only the only the that will apply only the first line uh, of that uh, paragraph. So that property and the use of that property you have to know. Otherwise, that concept are same. So how you ULLI you can apply. You, if you know the ULLI relation, so ULLI A relation, so you can apply that in everywhere. You can you you can use that on the tab. You can use on the list item. You can you can apply on the menu. You can create uh, the footer navigation. You, you can do everywhere the ULLI relation. So you have to know the relation, understand the relation and the property. Uh, how to use the property. 
thank you Pritam. Yeah. So, so you have to understand the uh, Flexbox very well. So, because today uh, in those in uh, nowadays we are not using float if anywhere. The float are uh, deprecated. You can say, okay. So, with help of Flexbox, you can maintain the whole layout. So, as as I show you the flex thing, okay. So flex is very important. So you have to understand the flex thing very well to uh, uh, maintain the to create the layout. You have to know the relationship very well to add CSS on that. You have to know the property, individual property. Okay. So transitions, transformation, animations, those you can if you know that is good thing. You can create your own animation on. You can apply. Your, but basic thing that how to how the structures are working, hmm. how the uh, relations are. Uh, Build it on the SAS or or CSS. How to define a variable on the SAS or CSS? How to create? If you if you mix uh, if you create a mixed file of mixing, if you can copy that file on that project to project, that will work. Okay. So if you create a one mixing file at a time, uh, one time, these kind of functions files. Okay. The, the if we we have all the functions here. The all uh, required things so you can you can copy that mixing file and you can your in all projects okay so wherever you have to added the transition functions for transition border radius margin that gradient font size the padding that uh, red index all the functions you have created in a file okay mixing file and you keep that in your project and whenever you have go to the next project or next application you just have copy that mixing file and use there as well that is fine but you have to know that in detail the relationship and the uh, property the the flex as 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 for example flex you have to know very well how you can use flex okay so how how the background will work the background image how to repeat that how to how i position that you can you can make up a, a, a background uh, throughout the page or you have to uh, Contain the page background have many properties. Background size is content, uh, background container, uh, fix, all have different different uh, things. So you have to know those things. Okay. Anything? Anything from anyone? So after this session, today the training will uh, uh, over. Uh, we have completed that 11 day training. Okay, this training. So after this session, I will share with you list of a uh, POC. So on from those uh, POCs, we have to create one uh, with help of CSS and basic HTML. So I will share that uh, folder. Uh, you have to upload that POC and you have to give a Taste to uh, uh, for this uh, uh, session. If you uh, if you don't have anything or uh, any question, so we can wind up today's call. Any did you not face anyone did not face any any problem in uh, any project on uh, css related so you can you can do do your own all thing mm, no problem that is not right but uh, for me some some issues are facing but uh, i don't know how to actually so uh, simultaneously i am uh, checking that issue too so that's why i am muted yeah that's that's why i i uh, told you uh, friday uh, uh, that you just come up with some uh, question or uh, real life problems you faced on your projects <laughs> so we can resolve that uh, here okay okay no worry uh, so let me know if you have anything uh, i will uh, ping me uh, if i am available i will answer your question if you are raising any issue related to CSS or SAS uh, implementation in your project or anywhere, so let me know. Okay, okay sure. Thank you. Thank you to everyone uh, with uh, uh, me for the last few days. Uh, if you if you uh, if you learn a few things as 
uh, on uh, CSS uh, that will help on your uh, in your uh, career too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye all. I will share those both links, those uh, uh, CSS uh, folder, uh, the POC drive and the uh, beta test link shortly. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for